Hello, I'm Andrea Wagner, the CTO and co-founder of Berkshire Steel Manufacturing. I have been with Berkshire Steel Manufacturing since the very beginning. Have you ever received a shot, an IV, or injectable medicine before? Something maybe to hydrate you. We live in a world filled with bacteria, germs, and other pathogens. Your body has several natural defenses to prevent bad bacteria from entering your body, multiplying and making you severely ill. However, injectable medicines surpass all the body's natural defenses. So we at Berkshire Sterile Manufacturing need to make sure that any medicine that will be injected is sterile and free from harmful bacteria and pathogens. So you can be confident that that injection you are receiving will make you healthier and not sicker. That is our job at Berkshire Sterile Manufacturing. We work with many pharmaceutical companies that have injectable medicine to manufacture their products so it is sterile and safe to inject. The pharma company will give us directions for making the drug, kind of like a recipe. We gather the ingredients, create a large volume of solution, sterile filter it, and fill it into either a vial, syringe, or cartridge in an aseptic environment we term isolators. We have manufactured cancer treatments, vaccines, treatments for rare and fatal diseases, treatments for asthma, diabetes, epilepsy, Parkinson's, and even Alzheimer's, treatments for autoimmune diseases, treatments for eye disease to prevent or reverse blindness, and much, much more. Today, you will be able to see where we manufacture and test these medicines. So welcome to Berkshire Stowe Manufacturing and enjoy your tour. Hi, I'm Devin Wigginton, the Vice President of Quality Control. I oversee all the tests we perform at BSM. I've been on the BSM team for five years. All the treatments we make must undergo testing to ensure it meets all the requirements, such as having the right concentration of drug being at the correct pH, and ensuring the drug is properly sealed and sterile. We have a team of 28 scientists that test all the chemicals and materials before they're used in production, the drug product during the production, and the final drug produced to ensure every, everything we use and create a safe, effective, and exactly what we expect it to be before it can be shipped and administered to patients. Hi, I'm Lindsay Lundgren, the manager of the microbiology department at BSM, and I've been with BSM for four years. At BSM, we also perform testing of our cleaners, filling lines, and water to ensure that they're all clean and well controlled. We have nine microbiologists that perform sampling on a weekly and sometimes daily basis to ensure that the cleaners, air, surfaces, and water are all clean and free from anything that could make us sick. This ensures that the medicines we create are safe. Hi, I'm Wesley Williamson. I'm a supervisor of the component prep group at BSM. I've been on the BSM team for around two years. Before we can be begin filling drug product, we must sterilize all the materials, tools, and components that we will use. That is what we do in our component prep room that you see now. In here, we wash and prepare tools and materials, wrap them in autoclave bags, and sterilize them in our autoclave. The autoclave will use pressurized steam to kill 99.9999% of all microbes. This means only one out of a million bacteria will survive. If people were microbes, then the Massachusetts population at their sterilization would be six. We also wash and sterilize vials here. The vials enter a pyrogenation oven, which offers the same level of sterilization as the autoclave, only using dry heat. Our job is to ensure we have all the materials we need to complete a fill ready to go, so there are no delays and to ensure that the products we make are sterile so we can keep patients out of here. Hi, I'm Ishan Jessel. I'm a supervisor of the filling group at BSM, and I've been at BSM for close to a year. What you're looking at uh, right now is our semi-automated filling line. This is where we have filled hundreds of thousands of vials, syringes, and cartridges with sterile medications for a variety of diseases. This, lead, that, this line excuse me, has been in operation since 2018. If you watch the screen, I'll take you around to the other side of the filling line. All right, here we are. 
Uh, do you see how there are enclosed spaces surrounded by stainless steel and glass? These are called isolators, which are an advanced pharmaceutical manufacturing technology. Uh, the isolators are sealed and the inside is sterilized by pumping in a high concentration of sanitizing gas, vapor hydrogen peroxide, or VHP. This is the same hydrogen peroxide that you might use to clean wounds, but in the isolator it exists as a gas in much higher concentration. Once the filling line is sterilized, the VHP will be removed and replaced by clean air, which is pumped in from HEPA filters that make up the ceiling of the isolator. And that's where the fun can begin. We'll connect the sterilized drug product to the filler inside the isolator, and we'll fill vials, syringes, or cartridges. We can also freeze dry any medications that are sensitive to extend their shelf life from sometimes as little as a few weeks to several years. Uh, BSM is unique from the other companies that manufacture medicines because we use the most advanced technologies to fill all types of containers and drug products on the same filling line. And we use the best in-class machinery like isolators to ensure that the medicines we produce are sterile. My name is Rob Opschnack and I'm a manufacturing associate here at BSM. I've been on the BSM team for over three years now. Welcome to our manual filling line, also called the Germ 3. This filling line is also isolator based, but instead of using, it, using an automated filler like you saw on our other line, we fill by hand in this filling line using the glove ports to access the area inside of the isolator. This is BSM's first filling line, and it began producing sterile drug products in early 2016. Since then, it has undergone several significant upgrades. This filling line is dedicated to smaller projects, drugs which are typically in early phase clinical trials. Sometimes we only fill 100 vials, other times we may fill 2,000 syringes or more. Just like the line you saw earlier, vaporized hydrogen peroxide is used to sterilize the inside of the isolator and all of its equipment. We have filled thousands of vials, syringes, and cartridges on this filling line for many different diseases and clinical studies. Who knows, we may have filled the cure for cancer on this line. In time, many of the treatments we filled on this line will finish their phase two and phase three trials and make it to the commercial market where they can help patients in need. Hi, my name is Katrina Stock. I am the Formulation Manager at BSM, and I have worked here for two years. Welcome to our Formulation Room. This is where we make the liquid medicine. Our customers, pharma and biotech companies, typically send the active ingredient for their drug to us as a powder. We put this powder into solution and add any other necessary salts or chemicals to meet their physical or chemical requirements, such as having the correct pH, the right viscosity, and to ensure the active ingredient remains in the solution. Once we create the medicine, we then sterilize it by filtering it through two or three sterilizing filters. This work is performed in an ultra-clean environment. All the air in the room is filtered through HEPA filters and replaced every minute. The sterilized drug product solution is transferred to a sterile vessel that will then be transported over to one of the two filling lines that you just saw. The container is connected to the filler and filling begins. The people formulating the medicine are professionals that receive in-depth training at BSM. You'll see in the room a water for injection pour on the wall and a collection of balances, mixers, pH meters, and other equipment used in the manufacture of the drug product. Hi, I'm Tyler Rush, the Vice President of Manufacturing. I oversee all the manufacturing at BSM, and I've been on the BSM team for three years. This is our new, fully automated filling line. It uses four robotic arms, several automated transport systems, and advanced technology to automatically fill up to 90,000 vials, syringes and cartridges, and a single production line. You can also freeze-dry temperature-sensitive drug products to extend their shelf life. 
This line uses VHP to sterilize the equipment, just like the other two filling lines you saw. This line is an entirely isolated base to protect the sterility of the medicine we fill. And it features two brand new technologies. One is the first in the world, and another is the second application in the world. This is the most advanced filling line for small scale drug manufacturing in the United States and Europe today. And we've worked with five companies to design, construct, and test this over the past three years. It cost approximately $10 million to construct this line. And we begin manufacturing injectable medicines in August of this year. Hi, I am Aaron Gunlin. I am the supervisor of the Visual Inspection Group at BSM and have been a member of the BSM team for three years. Welcome to Visual Inspection. Well, we perform testing in the lab to ensure that the medicine we make is sterile and has the correct specifications, we also need to check for any crucial defects, like cracks in the glass of vials, missing or misapplied stoppers and seals, foreign material in the medicine such as fiber, glass, or metal, precipitation or discoloration of the solution, over underfilled containers and cosmetic defects such as scratches or dirt on the outside of the container. That is our job. Every vial, syringe, or cartridge of medicine we fill that will be released for human use must be individually inspected. To do this, we will examine each vial, syringe, or cartridge in front of a white background for five seconds and a black background for five seconds. We will also swirl the containers to force any floating foreign material to move in the solution so we can better detect it. Each unit is examined for 10 seconds, no more, no less. If we filled 20,000 vials, we would inspect all 20,000 vials for 10 seconds each. A job that large would take at least 556 man hours to complete. After our 100% inspection, we have another inspector re-examine a small portion of the containers we looked at to confirm that we are not over-rejecting medicine that could go to patients and make them healthy, and we are not under-rejecting medicine that could be harmful to those patients. Once a lot is fully inspected, the acceptable units will be released for human use after all other testing is completed. So, next time you receive a shot or an injectable medicine, remember that there is someone out there that has visually inspected that product and they are looking out for your best interest. Hi, my name is Ron Tresker. I'm the Associate Director of Engineering at BSM. I've worked at BSM for three years now. Water here is used for a lot of activities that we perform in and around the clean rooms. And there's a lot of work that goes into making this water. We start with city water, pre-filter it, soften it, carbon filter it, reverse osmosis filter it, and then deionize it to manufacture reverse osmosis deionized water or roadie water for short. The roadie water is used as supply stock to the pure steam generator or PSG and for the water for injection generator or WIFI for short. We use roadie water, pure steam, and WIFI to wash materials, run the autoclave cycles, to sterilize equipment, to clean rooms, and to make injectable medicines. We do not want the water and the medicine we produce to make a patient ill. Therefore, injectable medicines require water for injection. This is water that is ultra pure, sterile, and is absent of any substances that could elicit an allergic response or a fever. We prepare this ultra pure water on site. Currently, you are looking at our WIFI system, which represents approximately a $2 million investment to be functional. That does not include validation activities. This system heats purified water until it becomes steam. Then the steam is condensed. This process is repeated two more times to ensure that the water we have at the end of this treatment is ultra pure and can be injected into a patient without making them sick. The WIFI is stored in a 6,000 liter tank and is circulated 24-7 through stainless steel piping at 180 degrees Fahrenheit. This ensures the water remains sterile and clean. There are special ports in the clean room that operators can use to collect the water as needed. Water is an important ingredient in injectable drugs and we put a lot of work into treating it to keep patients well. Thank you and have a great day.